Hello, and welcome to Dead Cells. Hope that everyone is having a fantastic and wonderful day. Um, I just got done. You know what? Let's let's change the outfit. Let's change the outfit. Also, let's take a look. There is so much to unlock here. So much still. It just keeps going. It just keeps going. There are so many outfits. Um, let's do the Rocky outfit. There needs to be like a Balboa or um, an Adrian head. Adrian! Adrian! Okay, what do I have here? I've got um, not a whole lot that I like. Gotta be on. You know, it's been a while since we've done a bow run. Let's do a bow run. I'm gonna just leave the whip behind. You know, it's it's working pretty well. It's working real well. But there is a room that down there that I forgot to look into. It is a an upgrade room, so that is a chest. Lovely. In vampirism, less lovely. Could have gone without that entire chest room, honestly. There's a crowbar. I'm not looking for that son of a bitch. Not looking for that color. So no real reason to go towards that crowbar. That's the castle outskirts. Going full tactics. Let's go ahead and pull him forward. And this is the way to uh, the sewers. Which I think the sewers is a bad choice with this weapon. But the sewers is cursed and I think I do need more cursed items. But I haven't found both um, sets of scrolls yet, so... Oh, that's what I want. I want to replace cluster grenade with that. Lovely. And then this is the way towards that. Um, oh, yeah, don't want that. Okay, so I've got a pretty decent setup, I think. A great owl of war. Um, shit. Um, whatever the mushroom boy is. I mean, what do you do? You. Biters crawl from the dead. Not bad. Maybe. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go for it. Shit. Oh my god. I could have just pressed the triangle button and avoided all of that unnecessary damage. But did I? No. Okay, so that's nothing that I care about. I don't care about the bone. Where am I going? That's to the promenade. So what is up above? 
I've missed on my combo room. I've missed on the time. Yeah, I don't care about that. And, uh... I think I'm gonna try and go to the sewers because it's cursed. I think that might actually be... That's to the Dilapidated Arboretum. Which, if I look... Is... It is incentivized. But I'm more interested in going to a curse area on the chance that they will drop a blueprint that I need. Terrible performance and terrible stuff all all around. I actually got 30 kills in a row. Wow. I did not think that I got the combo. Not that any of those things uh, matter to me. Forty-eight cells to the flawless concierge outfits. Cool. Not gonna upgrade anything there. We're going to go ahead and honestly, I think I go for armadillo pack. Find a um, a weapon early on. And throw it in my backpack. I should have moved. I, I should have grabbed one of those other weapons and did that before in the previous level. But that is now new tech for me to um, think of. Oh, look at that. <gasps> oh no! Oh god! Okay, okay. Okay. Just be very careful. I have a blueprint. I've got to extract the blueprint. I'm not cursed at the moment, so shouldn't die instantly. Okay, you know what? We're just we're just gonna leave. There's no point in me uh, sticking around for a senseless honor. I'm now cursed. Gotta remember that. I don't really care about time. Shit. Okay. I'll take a monster eye. This is quite stressful to be. Oh. I don't care. I don't care. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just leaving. I'm just leaving. I choose. I choose life. Son of a bitch! I didn't even. I didn't notice him. I was so close to a combo sixty room too. Dang it. I mean, it's, it's just better damage. I, I kind of like that it, my shots were piercing enemies. Oh. 
I might be able to get back up to 60. I might be able to get back up to 60. I just don't know if I really care about doing that. Um, you know what? I think that's the better way. Put him in the in the pack where he belongs. Got to remember the triangle button. out. Do I take a crossbow or do I take a great owl of war better? I think I take a better owl of war. Yeah, that's that's a better owl. I don't want either of those. I'm happy with my uh, my uh, sub items. You know, I, I have a blueprint. I'm going to the ramparts. I'm keeping that blueprint with me. Hell yeah. I think that is... No, not going to take it. Not going to take it. Cursed flask. Your health flask is it. Ha Your health flask is has infinite charges, but also curses you twenty times each time you use it. That's an idea. <laughs> upgrade that to S quality, and then we're gonna upgrade that to S quality. For this, I think I've got to go for. Um, For no mercy. I'll go to the bank. Sure, I'll go to the bank. Trying to think of things to talk about. Oh, right. What am I, what am I talking about? Um, Concord's gone. The uh, the hit PlayStation um, Sony console exclusive uh, Concord, the uh, early access bonanza, is uh, shut down with what did it do? Not even a month. Fucking Christ! Holy shit, that thing fucked me up. And I, th um, with Concord going away, I think it's going to present a relatively interesting, um, narrative for the the people behind um, the Don't Kill Games initiative. Because by all means, no one like demonstrably no one was playing no one cared about Concord. The only people that cared about Concord are the graphic designers that were responsible for um making the the cutscenes that Concord was going to be known for because they were really driving home the you know the the new story cutscenes and stuff and I think that was the whole pitch behind Concord is look at us we're going to uh, we're forcing 
That's kind of what it felt like. We're forcing a um, the story that you so lovingly that you so love about. I'm not taking that. Um, or watch. We're going to force that in front of you, and that is the main draw of this title. Is a um, a cutscene for honestly characters that you uh, don't that no one seemingly cared about. So, motherfucker, motherfucker, son of a doing so bad. Whoop. Oh! My timing and sense of where my guy is going is so off. That was so bad. Um, yeah, who's the guy that is doing the uh, Don't Kill Games? It's the uh, Curse Farms guy. It's a uh, Ross. I, I I like his content. I really do like his content. I wish that I um, remembered what his what his name is. But I I have to wonder because like honestly, the whole Concord situation is everything that he doesn't want to have hap be happening to games and at, to a certain extent I understand it um, but when it comes to a game like Concord we'll do it we can easily get 10 kills hopefully I don't think any like maybe on the entire planet of billions of people There's maybe a hundred or so that might ever care to play Concord for the gameplay aspect of it. And I have to ask, like, where's the don't kill games um, stance on on this shutdown? Do is this a game that they care about simply because it's a game? that is uh, being killed? Or are they willing to say that Concord is worth um, existing? And then that also brings with it a whole other aspect of um, games as art. Do we think that Concord should be um, held up to a place that honestly it does not deserve or did it earn um, and be put on a pedestal of like as a shining example of we care about video games and we will not kill video games when it was nothing but a failure as well as something that anyone that would have looked at it could have told you this is going to be a failure. That's that entire thing is an interesting um, thought process to go through because at the core behind um, the initiative, I I understand and I really appreciate where he's coming from of the don't kill games. And I think the best example is um, him talking about the crew. Now, the crew is far, far from an incredible game. But the fact that of how Ubisoft handled um, the crew, I think it's understandable of his position of, hey, don't kill games. This isn't the game for everyone, but it was a game that he liked and he purchased and then they said no no one gets to play this because we're taking off the servers damn it 
so um, in that instance, I think it's very clear cut of what you mean by don't kill games. Um, the other content creator, Thor, his weighing in on it also has an idea of it of, um, hey, don't kill games is kind of flawed in its idea and it could come back and um, bite someone in the ass of like making a live service game. And if you're saying don't kill games, you're saying that live service games basically have to give out their code um, whenever they come end of life and then you have to define what's end of life for a, um, a live service game. I think a lot of people could kind of tell you what the end of life is for a live service game, but it does get a little tricky. What is in here? Oh, this is the exit to the bank. Do I just leave or do I try for the... I think I'm just going to leave. I should have stayed and killed four more people. Damn it. What is my next area? I went to the bank, so the the next area is a boss fight. Insufferable Crypt or Black Bridge. And someone was telling me to save my cells. So I thought you could never break that door. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. I'm going to try tactical retreat. I don't know if I'm going to need to be able to make it to work, but I'm going to try it. I think I prefer um, Black Bridge. Yeah, I, I prefer to fight the concierge instead of um, conjunctivus. I'm out of ammo. I'm out of ammo. Shit you. Fuck you. You know what I should have bought? Should have bought the mutation for uh, double ammo. That's what I should have bought. I could have done that flawlessly. Okay. I think I get rid of Mushroom Boy. Spawns a friendly Mushroom Boy, which charges and interrupts enemies, inflicting 196 damage and 393 extra damage if the enemy hits a wall. Trigger it again to violate my soul. I think... I think I go for barricade actually. Yeah. Go for barricade. I go for the deck of cards, swap it to, um, of course, be the one for. Um, I really like the idea of 
revealing invisible enemies. But I'm not going to take it. Okay. So now I have an appreciable amount of cells to invest into the forge. Okay. That's how I do it. That's the correct way to do that stuff. Okay. Um, I got to remember that when I uh, go... All right, Fractured Shrines is incentivized, so we'll go there. I've got to make a run where I don't use any cells. I just hold on and hoard my cells until I defeat a first boss. And then I um, do it for the forge. I think that's going to be the main way to unlock things. I don't even know what hit me there. All I know is that I am a very, very weak boy. Oh, but I could... Four grand for half my health? Yeah, well, I'll do that. I'll take the curse chest. Yeah, I'd be interested in hearing what you guys have to say about the Don't Kill Games initiative. Like, on the face value, I think it's a very easy um, thing to talk to someone and... Shit. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content below. Um, let me know about your thoughts about Don't Kill Games. Let me know about your thoughts about um, just things in general, about this game and everything. Um, but with that said, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.